An ore is a type of rock that contains sufficient minerals with important elements including metals that can be economically extracted from the rock. The ores are extracted through mining. These are then refined to extract the valuable element, S. The grade or concentration of an ore mineral, or metal, as well as its form of occurrence, will directly affect the costs associated with mining the ore. The cost of extraction must thus be weighed against the metal value contained in the rock to determine what ore can be processed and what ore is of too low a grade to be worth mining. Metal ores are generally oxides, sulfides, silicates, or native metals that are not commonly concentrated in the Earth's crust, or noble metals such as gold. The ores must be processed to extract the metals of interest from the waste rock and from the ore minerals. Ore bodies are formed by a variety of geological processes. The process of ore formation is called ore genesis. Ore deposits. An ore deposit is an accumulation of ore. Now this is distinct from a mineral resource as defined by the mineral resource classification criteria. An ore deposit is one occurrence of a particular ore type. Most ore deposits are named according to either their location, or after a discoverer, or after some whimsy, a historical figure, a prominent person, something from mythology or the code name of the resource company which found it. Classification Ore deposits are classified according to various criteria developed via the study of economic geology, or ore genesis. The classifications below are typical. Hydrothermal epigenetic deposits, mesothermal load gold deposits, typified by the Golden Mile, Kalgooli, Arcane conglomerate hosted gold uranium deposits, typified by Elliott Lake, Canada and Wheatortis Rand, South Africa, Kalina Eurotype gold deposits, including epithermal stockwork vein deposits, granite related hydrothermal, IOCG or iron oxide copper gold deposits, typified by the Supergent Olympic Dam Kuoyu deposit, porphyry copper plus slash gold plus slash molybdenum plus slash silver deposits, intrusive related copper gold plus slash, typified by the tombstone, Arizona deposits, hydromagmatic magnetite iron ore deposits and scones, scone ore deposits of copper, lead, zinc, tungsten, etc., magmatic deposits, magmatic nickel copper iron PGE deposits including, cumulate vanadiferous or platinum bearing magnetite or chromite, cumulate hard rock titanium deposits, comatiite hosted Niku PGE deposits, subvolcanic feeder subtype, typified by Norilsk Talnak and the Thomson Belt, Canada, intrusive related Niku PGE, typified by Voices Bay, Canada and Jinchuan, China. Lateritic nickel ore deposits, examples include Goro and Akaj, and Ravensthorpe, Western Australia. Volcanic related deposits, volcanic hosted massive sulfide Ku PBZN, including. Examples include Teutonic Boar and Golden Grove, Western Australia, Bezshi type, Kuriko type. Metamorphically reworked deposits, Podiform serpentinite hosted paramagmatic iron oxide chromite deposits, typified by Savage River, Tasmania iron ore, Kubina chromite deposit. Broken Hill type PBZN AG, considered to be a class of reworked SEDEX deposits, carbonatite alkaline igneous related, phosphorus tantalite vermiculite, rare earth elements, Mount Weld, Australia and Bayanobo, Mongolia, diatrum hosted diamond and kimberlite, lamproite or lamprofire, sedimentary deposits. Banded iron formation iron ore deposits, including, channel iron deposits or pizulite type iron ore. Heavy mineral sands or deposits and other sand dune hosted deposits, alluvial gold, diamond, tin, platinum or black sand deposits, alluvial oxide zinc deposit type, sole example scorpion zinc, sedimentary hydrothermal deposits, SEDEX, lead zinc silver, typified by Red Dog, MacArthur River, Mount Isa, etc. Stratiform Arcos hosted and shale hosted copper typified by the Zambian copper belt. Stratiform tungsten, typified by the Izjabej deposits, Czechoslovakia, exhalative spillet chert hosted gold deposits. Mississippi Valley type zinc lead deposits, hematite iron ore deposits of altered banded iron formation, astrobleam related ores, Sudbury Basin nickel and copper, Ontario, Canada, extraction. 
the basic extraction of ore deposits follows these steps, prospecting or exploration to find and then define the extent and value of ore where it is located, conduct resource estimation to mathematically estimate the size and grade of the deposit, conduct a pre-feasibility study to determine the theoretical economics of the ore deposit. This identifies, early on, whether further investment in estimation and engineering studies is warranted and identifies key risks and areas for further work. Conduct a feasibility study to evaluate the financial viability, technical and financial risks and robustness of the project and make a decision as whether to develop or walk away from a proposed mine project. This includes mine planning to evaluate the economically recoverable portion of the deposit, the metallurgy and or recoverability, marketability and payability of the ore concentrates, engineering, milling and infrastructure costs, finance and equity requirements and a cradle-to-grave analysis of the possible mine, from the initial excavation all the way through to reclamation. Development to create access to an ore body and building of mine plant and equipment, the operation of the mine in an active sense, reclamation to make land where a mine had been suitable for future use, trade. Ores are traded internationally and comprise a sizable portion of international trade in raw materials both in value and volume. This is because the worldwide distribution of ores is unequal and dislocated from locations of peak demand and from smelting infrastructure. Most base metals are traded internationally on the London Metal Exchange, with smaller stockpiles and metals exchanges monitored by the COMEX and NYMEX exchanges in the United States and the Shanghai Futures Exchange in China. Iron ore is traded between customer and producer, though various benchmark prices are set quarterly between the major mining conglomerates and the major consumers, and this sets the stage for smaller participants. Other, lesser, commodities do not have international clearing houses and benchmark prices with most prices negotiated between suppliers and customers one-on-one. -on -one. This generally makes determining the price of ores of this nature opaque and difficult. Such metals include lithium, niobium tantalum, bismuth, antimony and rare earths. Most of these commodities are also dominated by one or two major suppliers with greater than 60% of the world's reserves. The London Metal Exchange aims to add uranium to its list of metals on warrant. The World Bank reports that China was the top importer of ores and metals in 2005 followed by the USA and Japan. Important or minerals. See also, economic geology, mineral resource classification, or genesis, petrology, references. Further reading, Dill, H.G. The A Euro Iron Chess Border Euro Classification Scheme of Mineral Deposits, Mineralogy and Geology from Aluminum to Zirconium. Earth Science Reviews, Volume 100, Issue 1-4, June 2010, pages 1-420.